Uh, hello and welcome back to my RCS in Unity tutorial. Uh, today, just a quick one, we're doing uh, multiple selection of units because last time I uh, showed you how we could click on a unit and we'd right click, say, to move it somewhere, that I'd give it an action. But now, from what I've done today, if we hold down control, we can draw a box and select a group of units. As you can see in the currently selected list, we have uh, four of the hoplites selected and we right click and they move. And if we like, yeah, so I know that they all appear on the same tile. That is something we'll have to sort out in a future episode. But for now, I'm just doing selecting multiple units at once, pretty much. And we can just like go sick with all the orders to give them. Like you can see, we've got all these actions that the units have to do. So yeah, let's go see how we did this. Okay, so basic idea of when we're how we're selecting multiple units is we're wanting to define an area where we're going to look for units. So we're going to need two vector frees. One will be the top left corner of this area, and one will be the bottom right. And um, basically, we can use that to define a square where we'll check. So. I've changed the units check for less mouse click. So first off, we've if we're going to check for if we're holding down left control. So if we're not, this is just going to be the uh, select one unit at a time just by clicking on it. But if we are holding down left control, then on uh, the in the frame where the left mouse button is first pressed down, we're going to store the mouse coordinates in start position. So this is going to be the X and Y in the screen. And then we're also going to store the world position of these mouse coordinates. So we use the camera.main screen point the world. Uh, the reason we do this is one, because we use the start position to know to draw the box and the start world to draw, not to draw, uh, to get the units, to like define the area where we're going to look for units. Sorry. And basically, while we're holding it down, we're going to draw, say, to the, we got a ball to say, all right, we are going to draw the multi select box, which just draws that uh, black semi transparent box around where we are from the uh, start position to the end position, which we again just setting to be the mouse position. But the difference with this is between this is this is only done once when the user initially presses the mouse down, whereas this is done every frame until the user lets go of the left mouse button. Uh, and then once the user let goes, lets go of the left mouse button, it just calls a set selected and unit manager, which is a new script I've written for it, uh, and it gets units within an area, and it just passes in this start world and end world, and then overwrites whatever's in the uh, selected currently. Now for the uh, GUI, I have to make some changes. Uh, so we've got a, basically we, for the GUI for selecting, we check for the selection mode. So on the, this was already existing before uh, this episode. So we've just, I, I've just put it in the, if selection mode equals selection modes like tiles. So we are selecting tiles. Yeah, pretty much. So we just do this normally. Else, if we are selecting units, uh, we use the start position as the start screen pause, and the end screen pause is the uh, input and mouse position. And yeah, otherwise, it's just pretty much the same as what it was before. The reason we had to do this was because uh, when we're selecting tiles, we use the first tiles position instead. Of instead of the, the mouse position because we do, and it was easier to uh, just make a separate if statement based on the selection mode rather than having like some kind of complex if statements work out here. But yeah, so that all works. Uh, basically, we're just working out which the width and the height, so it's always a positive number based on which is lower and which is higher. 
the x and y coordinates, and then we just draw the box. There. I've already explained it in my uh, tile based system in Unity yeah. tutorial, so if you need a more detailed explanation, go watch that. And finally, or oh, for the new stuff, we've added a unit manager, which has just been added to the game controller, I believe. Yep. And for now, I've just added in the, the uh, five hoplites in manually, but in the coming episodes, we're going to have like unit spawning, which will add it automatically. So basically, we're using system.collections.generic. We've got a list of game objects, which are the units. Um, we've got a static reference, so we can reference this in other scripts. Uh, basically, we've got public methods to add and remove units. And this is what we want the main meat of it. We're going to get units with an area. We have a start position, two vector threes, the start position, and then position. Uh, first off, this list of the return value, this is just where we store the units that are in the area that we want to use. Uh, so we've got x low, y low, x high, and y high. These are basically to define the corners because uh, because of how I've written the selecting things, uh, the because it stores the start position as where you clicked uh, the left mouse button down, that still can be uh, below the end position, because if I just demonstrate here, uh, so you see how where I started here, it can either be the top left corner, top right, uh, bottom right, bottom left, you know, because of the different ways you can move the mouse. So to counter that effect, and to make sure it always uh, sort of does it in the right way, we have a little sorting. So basically we're checking which one's lower, the X position or the Y position. X position on the start pass or the end pass, sorry. And then basically we assign it by uh, assign uh, the lowest to X low and the highest to X high. And yeah. And we do a similar thing for the Y. And we also, basically after that, we just cycle through all the units in uh, units and we check if, if uh, it's within these coordinates. So if it's if the x coordinate is higher than the x low and the x coordinate is ha less than x high and the same for the y coordinates and y low and y high, then we add it to the return value and then we return it at the end. Simple. And then that just gets passed into the add to selected, set selected here. So I got selected and I did make a few changes here. Uh, basically, it was just a counter that we are using it for units as well as tiles. So basically, we're going to check for, we need to check that it is a tile before trying to get the tile masterclass on select. And we did the same for clear selected, just because that wasn't, that was uh, causing errors to appear, which were a fairly easy fix. Uh, what else? I think I've got one more thing. Uh, unit manager. Holding control, the GUI selection. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. All right, so quick overview of what we did today. Pretty simple. Just we draw a box. We can get all the units within that box, and we can all give them an order at once. And we can do that, and we can get a smaller amount of units. We can still do just one at a time, or just like you know, click that shit. Uh, I think that got him. Did it get him? Yes. And if you do like, we will sort out the whole going over. Well, we don't have, they all up, they just stand on the one pile because they're dicks. But yeah, you get the point. Uh, what are we doing next? Actually, I made a plan for this series for once. Uh, so I think we are doing more types of units and limiting what actions a unit can do. So yeah, that'll be fun. All right, cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Go check out my sure Nichio. Uh, loud or quiet is good. Please buy it. I don't want to get a proper job. Well, not buy it, but you know, play it. Get interested and stuff. Uh, what else have we been doing? Uh, made a video on a procedurally generated roguelike. That I've been working on for my uni project, which is why these videos are getting less and less 
going. I'm only on one a week because that is a good amount of videos for me to do and still do other things. Uh, what else? Uh, I did a little video on... Oh, what was it? It was like a, a way to... A little thing I'd worked on where I could like draw in Unity and then like output it to a sprite, which is kind of cool. But yeah. So just watching. Go check out my other shit. Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. Or Kwanzaa from Kwanzaa. But I don't know what it is. I just watch Futurama. But yeah. Have a good one.